think it's important in order to get uh, those who are listening psychologically orientated to the position uh, and the spirit in which uh, I write our history. Uh, throughout my life, uh, black women have suffered a great deal spiritually. Uh, the forces uh, who are responsible for the desecration and the suppression of her spiritual expression through our ancestral traditions have largely saw to it that there was no road map, historically or otherwise, in which she could not only find her ancestors, but find her way back to her spiritual self. The only alternative that she had was uh, feminism. Uh, feminism, uh, the way that it is defined by Western uh, feminists, uh, is antithetical uh, to who black women are and what they hopefully should be aspiring to be. But all throughout academia, uh, these books, this literature, this philosophy, Western feminist a theology is all that she had, and the uh, traditions, if you will, of goddess worship uh, comes from that. Uh, this, uh, from my experience and knowledge and research, uh, has led me to conclude that this is not the road uh, for black women. Why? First, uh, black women are the only women in the world who was born free. What do I mean by that? She was not born under the yoke of patriarchy. All of Africa, in ancient times, matriarchal. So she was born free to begin with. This is why her spirit is so strong her purpose so determined, as opposed to Western women who were born under the yoke of patriarchy. Later, after uh, colonial invasions, especially once the indigenous major religions of Africa, uh, from Kemet, Islam, uh, ISIS, were uh, seized and corrupt, into a patriarchal doctrine uh, that Africa, the men included, began to adopt and spread culture of patriarchy in Africa. This is why when you go to Africa, see the women in the conditions that they are, it's no way that any logical person could conclude that this is the same social and cultural structure that built the ancient kingdoms of old. So when black women search for their history, it is not to uh, uh, separate themselves from black men uh, or to impose themselves on black men. Just finding your spirit and who and what you are uh, will reveal who you are and the honor that comes with that. Uh, that's the first thing. Uh, the second thing is that uh, uh, men, African men, need to know this history because they too, since the beginning of time, honored the Divine Mother before it was broken away from them. They need to know this history more than black women and understand it well. Uh, the research that has, uh, as I was searching for our history, i.e. black women, uh, in uh, Afrocentric uh, research, 
uh, I didn't find it. Uh, most are still at the reclamation stage, meaning that we're still unearthing, and we probably always will be until the end of time, because our history is so old, the planet. So we'll always be finding great, great, great discoveries. But if we don't put it in its correct historical perspective, we won't understand it. So we say, oh, yes, well, uh, King Tut was black, ISIS was black, and on and on. We're still at that stage, the stage that we need to aspire to is to understand what happened during this period that made us vulnerable to the nomadic tribes that ultimately invaded and seized and enslaved us. The problem was the internal problem my research has revealed. And we need to understand what that problem was on, on all levels come to terms with that. The third thing, and this is particularly for black women, this concept of goddess, uh, that's a Western feminist concept. It's a generic attribution to divine uh, uh, principles that have been embodied in what you all have been taught the feminine. Uh, and it is symbolized through images of what they tell you are goddesses. Well, that's for them. But for you, these were your biological mothers. They were not abstract figures. They were your biological mothers who embody the divine spirit in the flesh, just as a Christ just as a Buddha, just as a Krishna. That's who they were.
we have become the batterers of children and the torturers of women. Our people were bitterly against this in old Africa. In African tradition, a man was not allowed to crush and dominate the woman. Never. In African tradition, a man was not allowed to act unilaterally in the family. Everything he did, he had to do after having obtained his wife's fullest blessing and permission. <laughs>